wake up, get high All day through the night, prepare to take flight Through the sky, uh, start your day right I wake up, get high All day through the night, prepare to take flight Through the sky, uh, Top of the Wake and Bake, everybody. You already know what it is. It's your boy Fax, host of the Wake and Bake Show, baby. Doing what we do best, trying these strains. Today, got a special guest in the building, Lucian from Weed and Wellness. What up? Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Blessing. Honor to have you here, man. You know, Thank it's you. been a, I see your journey and how you've been working with Weed and Wellness. Um, but give us a little rundown on Weed and Wellness. What so, got you started with Weed and Wellness? So, Weed and Wellness, it, uh, it all starts back to 2010. I was run over by a car. I fractured my back, my pelvis. I needed five liters of blood to stay alive. So, Shit. yeah, for me, cannabis has been a big, huge part of uh, my recovery. Um, when I was in the hospital, they had me on morphine and my whole generation got all fucked up with these prescription pills. So for me, that wasn't an option. So we started the transition while I was in the hospital. I was eating uh, brownies. Okay. My brother's wife was making those for me. and. Within two weeks of being discharged, I was completely off the morphine and just using cannabis for my pain management. Wow. Um, you know, yeah, so that's where it all starts off from being run over. And then I've had a gym for the past 10 years of my life. And with COVID, I had shut it down. Okay. So I, I restarted Weed and Wildness. I got it going um, to really help destigmatize cannabis. Like, we want to take control of the narrative that surrounds it and really spread the truth about it, uh, about cannabis, especially when we combine it with healthy, um, healthy practices, you know? It can really have an a incredible impact on our life. So we just want to share that. Um, so what we all do at Weed and Wellness is we're, we're actually in the process of developing our app, which is going to connect the users mm -hmm. to cannabis wellness events. So any events that are cannabis related that fit our criteria, you'll be able to download the app and you'll be able to connect. So if you're in LA, you'll be able to see what events are happening in LA or what's going on in New York City or Miami or wherever you are, you'll be able to see what events are going on around, around the world as well as be able to hop onto our daily, our daily uh, platform where we do live classes, we do Zooms, we do meditation, breath work, yoga, and hit classes. So we'll have those as well. Wow. So the meditation, the breathing, the breathing tech, I seen you do that early in the morning on the wake up. Yeah. I know you have a breathing yeah. technique. I've, I've, called, I've seen you on the show on your page doing the breathing technique. If I'm not mistaken, as soon as you're about 10 in the morning, around 10 in the morning, uh, 11, I'll, do it, I'll do it earlier. earlier? So as soon as I, my routine in the morning, I roll okay. out of bed, I get right to my meditation. Oh, okay. So I like to get it done with as soon as I wake up, it really helps organize my day. It gets my brain sorted away. Um, and then I get into my breath work immediately after the meditation. Okay. Um, I like to do it as soon as I wake up before I have my coffee, because the coffee really gets me too stimulated. So I want to do my breath work and my meditation while I'm still really calm. Okay. So I do it in the morning. Um, it's actually called Wim Hof, the Wim Hof method. It's really that's gnarly. Oh, wow. we should we'll we'll do some today before we start smoking. We'll open up our lungs. Oh, that sounds great, <laughs> man. That sounds awesome. So definitely, let's do that. Um, so how long have have you been doing weed and wellness? Uh, it started in 2017. Uh, just a meetup. We get together. We go on some. Uh, we've done a few walks and yoga, and then I kind of put it on hold. With the gym, I yeah, rented two gyms, down. Yeah. took a lot of my life up. So like it was, I wasn't able to give it the love that it needed to, to flourish. Mm, and now since it's closed, okay. now it's, uh, I've been going, restarted it up last October. We're going on one year now. Okay. Man, you're doing pretty good. I seen, um, seen you in California. You guys had, uh, it was a night on the beach. Oh, with Fidel's. Yes, that was awesome, man. I'm mad I couldn't make it, but... Like, give me a little detail on that. How did that go? How did that? That was gnarly. We, um, well, we connected with Fidel, and we were like, we wanted to come together, and like, he has a huge following, so we wanted to be able to bring wellness to his, to his, his uh, community out there. So we teamed up, and we did, um, we had a whole bonfire event. We started off with, um, with some breath work mm -hmm. that led into some yoga. Mm -hmm. Everyone who came out to the event all got an eighth from Fidel. He blessed everybody up with that wow. fire. Wow. Shouts to Fidel's, man. You already Always. know what it is. Shout out to Fidel. <laughs> so um, they get the gift, they got the cannabis, uh, we had a bonfire. It was just, it's awesome to bring people together over, over weed and wellness. You know, we're mm -hmm. all coming together. We all have shared this passion for the plant because it, it, whether we're using it recreational or medicinally, which for me is one and one, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. Whether it's, rec for me, recreational makes the soul smile and 
that, that's part of wellness as well, right? For sure. So that's it's just definitely. amazing to get us all together and we're here for this special plan and wellness and let's do it. So that was a really, really cool event. That's dope, man. That's good to hear. Uh, Let's um, let them know how you feel about that. Nothing makes me smile more than you. <laughs> <laughs> That's that cheese. Yeah, yeah. Super dope. That's that dope, man. So it's fresh batch from the, the man himself. Shouts to Doja and the whole Doja game. West. That was the last time I had it. So we're going we to we're gonna review that together, man. That's what we're going to start. It. But before we do that, we're going to do a little breathing. Yeah, let's, let's do a little breath work. We're going to do, um, yeah, let's do one round together. Okay. Um, so how, how it works is we do 30 breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And we breathe in. We want to fill the belly up, fill the chest up, and we, we let it go. We don't want to over breathe it out, right? Okay. We always want to leave a little residual air in the lungs. Let's do a few breaths together, five okay. breaths. So breathing into the belly, into the chest. Okay. And out. No break between the inhale and the exhale. So breathing in, exhale. Into the belly, into the chest, let it go. In, two, out, two, in, two, out, two. Awesome. So that's the breathing pattern, right? We breathe out. There's no pause between the inhale and the exhale. We're going to do, normally we do 30 breaths in and out. We're going to do a little shortened vi version for the video. We're just going to do 10 breaths in and out. On our 10th breath, we're going to breathe it out. We're going to hold it. We're going to hold that empty breath for 30 seconds before we inhale and hold it for another 15 seconds. When we normally do this, it's, it's 30 breaths. Then we hold for a minute. We breathe in, hold for 15, and exhale. We do that for three rounds. But we want to we want to get our lungs open. That's our only purpose right now. So we're going to do a little short version. Problems at home, you don't want to do the hold. Definitely do the breathing. It's really important. Breathing in, breathing out. We just we really start hyper. We get hyper oxygenate our organs. So we're getting all this organs oxygen to our organs. So we're just going to perform at a optimal level, right? Like a lot of the times. I feel like people, we find ourselves not breathing. You ever catch yourself like, oh shit, take a deep yeah. breath. Like, I haven't breathed. I wasn't breathing. So it's just, it's good. Like any time of the day, you can always stop and let me get in tune with myself. Let me, breathe. whether you need to calm down or, you know, shit gets hectic, come back to your breath. Your breath is everything. Sure. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead, starting off, breathing into the belly, into the chest, and let it go. Into the belly, into the chest, and let it go. In. And out. In. And out. Into the belly, into the chest, and let it go. Five more breaths. Breathing in. Let it go. In. Two. Out. Two. In. Two. Out. Two. Last two breaths. Breathing in. And out. Last breath. Breathing in. Let it go and hold. We're here for 30 seconds. Feel your body temperature rising. That's fine. Heart may start beating faster. Just pay attention. And let's inhale in three, two, one. Breathe in. Hold it. 15 seconds. And let it go. So that's a little short inversion. Find more of our, of our breathing exercises on our YouTube page. So definitely check out our YouTube. Search Weed and Wellness. That's our handle on there. Yeah, man. Um, I like... It's, it's crazy. I never thought about it like that until you made me just concentrate now and you like feel it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really concentrate. As, as soon as you said, I, you, you know, start feeling your body get hot. I started feeling it. It's so weird, bro. That's crazy. That's amazing. Thank you. You appreciate welcome. that, man. Thank you very much. Very welcome. So let's get into this, man. So we're going to start off with the Zope. We're going to twist this up. No, but while we twist this up, um, let's get into, okay. Let's get into, you've been doing this for three years, right? Uh, well, I started in 2017, but 2017. it went on hold for two years. So okay. I, I'm officially 12 months back in it. 12 months back in. Wow. You have done 
really good for the 12 months being we're going back, hard bro. that's the only way we're from new york and that's all we know is to grind hard right yes sir like there's there's <laughs> and no and you're definitely showing that man that's i really like what you're doing it's Thank super you. dope man for I, real i've had a gym for 10 years before there's two locations and like if i've learned anything it's like mm -hmm. it's on me to make this happen when you have your own business mm -hmm. so you know this could be uh, uh five hours a day eight hours a day, it's whatever I make it. So it's, I'm just going hard, you know? And mm -hmm. I'm not gonna stop until we reach our goals. And like, that's, that's it. Like, I like to tell people like, we're gonna be, we are, we're the weed maps of wellness. Like we're gonna be connecting people to all things wellness. Beautiful. It's, it's, it is a, it's gonna be a beautiful I, thing. I'm like we wanna spread this wellness. <laughs> like my goal, every day I wake up, I wanna be the best version I can be. And that's my goal. Some days I'm a little off, but I'll, I'll change my, my mind. I'll, I'll bring myself to something positive. And I want to spread this positive with everybody. Like, and I know breath work and meditation, it's changed my life. With combination with cannabis, mm -hmm. unstoppable. So I want, to, I want to spread these practices to people. And that's the only way we can change the world is people closest to us and teach them, like, this is what works so well for me. You try it. If it works well for you, maybe your friends will try it. And mm -hmm. we just want to spread it because this is how we're going to change the world and make it a better place by each of us becoming the best versions that we could become of ourselves, right? Yes. Like, why, I can't wake up being mediocre. I second that. No way, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So that's why I like... It's like idle timing. Yeah. People who just idle time, don't do nothing, they just hang around and do nothing. That's idle time, man. We live in a world that's moving really fast and it's crazy that we even get into this conversation. Um, we went through a slowdown. Example, yeah. like your business slowed down because of the pandemic. People actually kept it going and stood productive. Like you, you kept things going. You figured out another way to keep things going through the adversity, through things being how they are. And that's super motivating. You know what I'm saying? That Thank motivates you. other people that's out there. I feel like it's, it's definitely going to help. Like you helping me by me seeing what you're doing. It's helped me a lot understand different things besides just smoking. You know what I'm saying? Seeing how you go about weed and wellness, you know, has made me more aware of my wellness, making sure that I'm good, you know? And that's what I, I want everybody else, you know what I'm saying, on this platform and everybody to, tapping in, to really tap into what my guy Lucian is doing. Um, it's changing lives, you know, and actually helping people regroup. New York City really needs that. A lot of people here is very, sometimes, how can I say, agitated very easily with what goes on here in the city. And I feel like what you're doing is definitely going to help a lot of people Thank along you. with with the smoking you know people get to calm themselves down enjoy a nice little smoke but also be aware of their wellness at the same time yeah. so that's super dope man Thank i like you. what you're doing no one's right. targeting the cannabis community with well and wellness but mm -hmm. like we take care of ourselves we eat healthy and like that's we want to we want to spread the wellness all throughout the cannabis whether you use cbd or tac this isn't weed and wellness isn't about smoking weed or eating edibles and working out it's about we're bringing awareness on on the positive of cannabis and how we incorporate it into our lifestyles. Like, I personally, I wake up, I smoke. I gotta smoke as soon as I wake up because it makes my body feel okay. I got plates and screws. I got two plates and five screws in my pelvis. I fractured my L4, my L5, my S1. I need to wake up and medicate. Mm -hmm. It gets me feeling all right. Then I can go ahead and stretch. You know, it's, it's you know, it's, we each, we all use it differently. Some people might use it just before bed. It helps with their inflammation. It helps mm -hmm. with my sleep. You know, so that's what we're really about, just bringing people together, spreading wellness, and, and, and educating people on how they can incorporate cannabis into their lives and, and still do good. Absolutely. You know? Break that stigma. You know, we break in the stigma. It's, it's over. <laughs> that was great toast. Show them, show them what, you just, what they just ninja starred you with. Hey! <laughs> that, was that, was, that was dope. That was good. That's like... <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> So we here, man. That was straight right, up. Cool. Um, so now we're going to get into a little bit of my weed analysis. So what I do is I normally I do a weed analysis on every guest I have. You know, um, I ask you what's your likes and dislikes. So people know and they're well aware of how it is you go about your day smoking. You know what I'm saying? Like I smoke with paper, with graba, a little bit of graba, not too much. Everybody knows graba is like 
the donkey punch to your lungs. If you don't smoke grava, it's extra tobacco, and some people don't like grava. I'm putting my guy Lucian on because I know you don't smoke a grava at nah. all, right? All right so, <laughs> <laughs> so we all know already, my guy Lucian, don't do the grava, you heard? No grava for him. So do you prefer papers, papers or papers only? Papers all day. All right. Do you do bowls? Bowls for sure. I'll bowls. Do, yeah, okay, you know, cool. I'm a paper all day. I, uh, I feel, honestly, mm -hmm. I feel like I taste the terps most from papers. I do. I feel okay, like okay. the glass, glass is nice that first hit. Yeah. You gotta, I'm, I'm, it my body burnt. is dirty, bro. So <laughs> it's like, I use papers. It's fresh every time. I got you. I got you. That's dope, man. All right. So you, you use papers. Um, what's like a go-to munchie? that you really crave when you get high, that you could say is one of your favorite munchies? Favorite munchies? Yeah. It could be anything. It could be- Honestly, bro, I should have pizza. Salad, a oh, pizza? Same okay, pizza? pizza? Yeah. Yeah. We try to avoid it. We, we, we don't <laughs> munch out, but I'm not a big munchie guy. Yeah. So most of the time, but there's, there are those times when, you the know, cheat the days, joints good and cheat the devs oh, and all adds up, man. it'll be either pizza or ice cream. Pizza or ice cream? But for the most part, bro, I'm, I'm pretty good with the munchies. I don't munch out so much. I try to like, I try to consume a lot of water. Okay. Cool. So like my morning routines on point. Mm -hmm. The evenings is when I get those the munchy feelings. So it's like it's like I'm trying to build a better evening habit. So in the evening I try to drink one more of these. Okay. That way it's like kind of fills me up. I might have a tea or something, but something to get me out of that like I need more. Okay. I don't okay. know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, when I binge, <laughs> I binge. <laughs> All right. Cool. So that that's another one. Um, what's a pet peeve when you smoke? With, with people. What's a pet peeve? Something that bothers you. Like, mine is, I hate people who make love to the blunts. Like, they might, like, wet the, 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 the tip. They don't know how to smoke with dry lips. They fucking, they suck on it. They be like, <sighs> or they do something that's different from everybody else, but they leave the tip of the spliff wet. That's one of my pet peeves. Everybody knows that. What's one of your pet peeves? Pet peeves. It could be anything from somebody talking too much they when you're high. They just sit on that. There's one, when they, they sit on the joint too long. Oh, that used to be politics. me, but I learned. They used to call me the black hole because every time it came to me, <laughs> oh, that shit, shit went out. That was it. You know? I haven't heard that one. That's pretty That's cool, the black yeah. hole. Hey, my man, everything is disappearing when it reaches you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. All right, cool. So, um, how can I say? What's, <laughs> what's your favorite strain? What's one of your favorite strains? Because I know it's multiple. A lot of people that I interview always say, listen, I have a lot. Okay, it's hard. But what's one of your favorite strains? Classic strain is going to be Haze from the Heights. Classic strain from the Heights? I well, like the that. Because it got that, that soapy taste. I Not like soap, that. Soapy. Soapy. So that, I like the, that. Soapy. I like that. Real soap. Um, what else I fucking love? New, nowadays or like, I mean, I mean I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of the gelatos. I'm a fan of like, I don't have one. Rainbow belts. Oh, the Skittles, man. there's so many of them. Like my favorite Skittles, the gelatos, the, any of the belts, but the belts are all part of the fam, right? Yeah, With, uh, rainbow belts is the know? Z and um, Moonbow actually. That has, I think, Moonbow. Rainbow Does belts? It? Yeah, it has Moonbow. I think it has. If I'm not mistaken, it's Moonbow X Skittles. But it's gnarly, but like a lot of, honestly, it all comes, a lot of these strands are coming back to gelato. So like that's like. That's the mother of all. It's, it's gnarly. <laughs> That's cool, man. So, all right. So, but we old school, I go with some haze, some haze, some haze from out here. Okay. And then, that's um, good. nowadays, the gelatos, um, the belts, anything with the Skittles really in there. I'm, I'm a big fan of like all the dojo work as well. Like, tasty that's as well, fuck. You know I like that. Me and you have kind of the same taste buds. Hey, the wind, the wind is taking our weed. All right. So, now we're going to go into we got the favorite strain. Which is dope, bro. A lot of people that I've interviewed, nobody's yet to even mention Hayes. So you're like one of the first people to really mention Hayes and bring that nostalgic vibe back to my memory because it's crazy. That's where it all starts. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm from Nyack, Rockin' County, and oh, we shit. used to take the trip out, hit the trip to the Heights, get that Hayes real quick because yeah. it just, there's, there's Hayes all over the world, but the Hayes and the Heights is just different. It hits different, it tastes different. Where, where in the Heights? Dykeman, 173rd, uh, Audubon? Uh, Vermilia. Vermilia? Yeah. That's what my guys are familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man. All right, cool. So let's get into. We got into strain. Um, what's one of your like highest, weirdest moments? Something that happened to you high that's hard for you to forget, but it's really like funny. Like goddamn. Like how the fuck do I go through this shit high? Like what's one of your weirdest, highest moments? Fucking getting lost in the desert. <laughs> we got the, the sun. The, I didn't beat it. The guy's like, listen, as long as we, we went to some hot springs out west, and they were like, guy, you drive to the ranch, yeah, Bowden Ranch, whatever it was, 
if you drive to the ranch and then you park your car, yeah. you gotta take a whole troop, you walk down, and he's like, as long as you leave there by six, you'll make it back up. And we leave by six, we start walking up, like, oh, we need to take no photos. And we start taking pictures on the way up. Oh, shit. Bro, the sun starts dropping, then the sun drops, and then I'm like, yo. Which way do we go? Yeah, I'm like, we have the map. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm talking about my, 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 I'm with my business partner, and, we're, and she was in control the whole time with the map. I'm like, I don't know where we are. Listen, we got lost. I'm like, I called 911, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You're in the middle of a fucking like, desert, they bro. Were gonna, yo, they were gonna send the um, emergency help out for me. The so chopper? they're like, stop wow. moving. They're like, where are you? Whatever. I'm like, my phone's on like 5%. I'm trying to like search the location of like, mm -hmm. how do I walk back? But I'm nervous my phone's gonna die. I put it in low battery mode. They're on the phone telling me to stop moving. I'm like, I'm not moving, but I'm fucking running at this point because I think I might know where I'm at. Yeah. I, we find a fucking a monument there like oh shit we're not lost anymore i called back 911 like we're good so they yo that would have been like 12 grand for them to throw out the helicopter i googled it wow really that shit was that was an experience wow my man but that was a weed and mushrooms <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <laughs> i mean at least I, it was probably better for you being that it was mushroom soup yeah. but the mushrooms wore off before we walked back up mm -hmm. so we had we had a little smoke session back this, down, down oh, the bottom shit. so the walk to back up, it up. Wow. But it was, oh shit that's a fucking still here. that's dope man that's fucking hell of a dope yeah. trippy trippy experience man yeah I, i'm okay like i knew like, we'd be all right but i wasn't trying to i, I wasn't trying to stay the night in the desert yeah man you got, all night. you got all you got all kinds of shit that come out at night in the desert shit that i don't even know about comes out of the desert <laughs> weird ass lizards snakes all kinds of shit, yeah, you know, and you can't see. Shit is, it's no lights. So it's like, what the fuck? How do you guys, damn, bro. Yeah, I went into fight or flight mode, my fucking, <laughs> shit. I was all crazy. It was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Got to the car, yeah. I'm like trying to find the exit. I'm just beeping the horns. So they, they don't fucking, I don't want to get locked in there. Because now, now it's a matter of we're to the car. Yeah. We still got to drive another half mile to the gate. Mm -hmm. And the guy said he's leaving at like eight. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, I'm going to get trapped in here overnight. Now, it all worked out. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Um, at what age did you originally start smoking? My, my first time experimenting was yeah. really young in elementary school because I have an older brother. Okay, so cool, fifth cool. grade. But really oh, building shit. a relationship with the plant. Yeah. In middle school, eighth grade, we really started playing with it throughout high school. But my, I want to say 12th, 12th wow. grade. No, 12th grade, I, I want in was it 16? Yeah. That's yeah, probably when I really 18. started like developing more of a relationship with it and realizing that it, it, I wasn't just getting high. I was fucking helping myself with when I got anxious. I was able to I self medicate myself mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. But it's all. Yeah. It's like me. I, I'm, I'll be honest. I started around 12 myself, which is crazy. Um, I was very hyper as a kid. I was fucking hyperactive. My mom's even knew it. Cause my mom's always telling me, damn, I can't even give you no sugar and shit. Like, you get crazy. So. That's how I started too. It was um, my friends peer pressure, but then once I smoked, I realized, man, this shit got me calm and mellow. I was like, I yeah. love this feeling, man. So once I felt that, it was like, all right, I wasn't getting as I wasn't as hyper as I was, you know, because I always had to be doing something when I was in that age range, like twelve between twelve and like thirteen, fourteen. I was very fidgety, but being that I was able to smoke, I started smoking. That calmed me down a lot. But my mom's wasn't with that shit. <laughs> my mom's wasn't with it. I didn't get caught till later, but long story short, I started around the same age, man. So that seems like a, you know, it's not a good age. Let's just put that out there. But in our day and age, we didn't have as much as you guys have. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have anything that entertain us and stuff like that. So, you know it's, what I mean? It's not a bad thing as long as you're keeping yourself out of trouble. And now, now it's like... It's not a bad thing at all because I'm all about normalizing it. Mm -hmm. So 16, you're still a child. I'm not going to tell you to go out and use cannabis unless you're being prescribed it. Yes. You know, like we, you do want your bodies to develop fully before we start putting in outside substances. I'm all, I do believe that. Um, but I think once you are old enough, like, you know, it's, it's, this is medicine. There's so, it's, so I'm all about normalizing. When I go out to the restaurants, you'll see me rolling joints inside because it's like someone having their drink in hand. I like, I'm not going to hide it. I want this to be normal. Yeah, you know, sure. and I'm going to be a part of that change. I love that. I love that. Super dope. I need to see if this is still going. Rock and roll. Where where we at? Oh, no, we're good. All right, I just cool. make sure it's still recording. All right, cool. Um, all right, so now we got through that. So you started at 12. Um, how was it? How, what was, how was the first experience getting caught 
by your relatives. Uh, what was that honestly, experience bro, like? I mean, yeah, my, yeah. my brother got, he went through it all first. So for me, okay. it was it was easy easy running. I didn't uh, get in trouble. Going so up. your brother got yeah. went through all the trouble yeah. before. <laughs> for me, it was by the time it was me. Thanks, it was, bro. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> by the time for me, it was like I always did good in school. I, I you know I stayed out of trouble. Didn't stay out of trouble. That's it. That's know? it. That's number one. My parents one. are busy working there. They work. They were busy. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to let you light it and take the first. Gnarly. Yeah, yeah. So you let me know how you feel about it. He's going to take the first rip. Shout out to Doja. We started off. We went with the Doja today. Zope. Shout out to the Doja Pack game. Also, shout out to Zushi. Who's in the lineup, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, always shout out to Zushi and Tenko, man. Always blue or yellow? Huh? Blue, blue or yellow? yellow? Blue. blue. Ugh, bro, I love blue, but... I, don't, I love me some yellow, too. It's so the hard yellow's to choose, good. It's but... sweet. To me, the yellow one is sweeter. How do you feel about the yellow one? Definitely a little sweeter. A little sweeter, a little right? A little sweeter. Um, this one hits harder. I feel like because of the Cushman side, no? Yeah. The a little. <laughs> but they're like they're very similar, mm -hmm. almost. Shots to, shots to Tenko, man. Yeesh. And also, big shout outs to these guys, man. Um, shout outs to, oh shit, Phoenician grinders. Phoenician grinders, wow. If you don't know, now you know. And shout outs to Weed and Wellness. Shout outs to Puffco. We out here with a Puffco Peak Pro too. <laughs> so how do you feel about it? Fucking tastes so, like it smells. Yes. And y'all see, man, we always, I always show y'all the ash. Shout out to Doja, you know. Clean ash. Always good. Clean smoke. So what we're doing is we're going to rate this bud together, me and Lucian, and give how we feel about it. And in the meantime, we're going, I'm going to ask them some questions while we're smoking these. And we're going to get into the trivia afterwards. Gnarly. Yeah. All right, so cool. We... Let me ask you a few of these questions right here. Let's rock this. Shout out to Puff Puff Pass. This is the booster pack in case everybody wondering because they have a different box, but this is a booster pack. So shouts to them. Um, today, I'm going to ask you a series of five questions, debatable questions. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll jump into the movie trivia. Uh, right? So we're going to start off with the first question. The first debate I'm going to give you will be did the U.S. actually go to the moon? No. No? No. I like that. No. We oh. never went to the moon. <laughs> well, maybe now, but not when we said we went to the not moon. Not in the 50s, bro. No. <laughs> I think Roswell really happened, and that's how technology went up. But otherwise than that, the moon? I oh, don't know, man. Why y'all ain't show us footage of that? Why we don't have no more footage of It don't make the sense. Moon? The flag, the wind blowing in it. Come on. What's going on here? <laughs> I don't know. I don't buy that one. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I agree with him. All right, so let's do this one right here. Um, which, this is good. Which social media platform would you destroy today if you could? Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I got love for Instagram, but they don't have love for us. We're Weedle Wellness. We're a wellness platform, and we promote uh, the, destigmatization, the destigmatization of cannabis. That's yes. it. They're shutting us down. They shut down our account today. We're no longer on Instagram. Follow our backup, We Don't Want Us 2.0. Down with Instagram. Or at least, like, you know, they're <laughs> ease killing up, us guys. Right now. Ease up, guys. It's legal. It's going legal everywhere. Ease yeah. up, guys. All right, cool. No love. I blame that on Facebook, though, because Instagram was good until Facebook got involved, and then all the rules started changing. But on another note, <laughs> IG, come on now. <laughs> all right, so let's do this one. Um... We established that if you had a chance, right? If you had a chance to be, to live as Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates for a day. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Jeff Bezos? <laughs> oh, why? I just can't. Amazon? You know what? <laughs> or Bill Gates? Uh, no, Amazon. Yeah, definitely not Bill Gates. I was thinking if I would be Bill Gates, it would be the change up what's going on in this world. It wouldn't be to be him in his shoes, but it would be him to change, like, all about the, well, let's not even get into all that shit. Yeah. yeah. But I agree with yes. you. And I know where you was going. <laughs> I agree like with that. you, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, so, all right. And if the, if the world were to, 
if the world were to end tomorrow, which illegal drug would you try? Would you absolutely try? If the world, I mean, that's it. I, all I need is cannabis, man. That's all I need. <laughs> I ain't even mad at you. <laughs> I've done a lot of experimenting throughout my life, and at this point, don't even. Uh, about shrooms. Shrooms all day, but I've done. I, I, I microdose. That's how I live. Between microdosing and meditations, that has lifted me up and brought me to another level. That's brought me here to where I'm today, and that's why I want to share these practices with everybody. That's and why we are developing this app. Yes, and now weed is legal. Let's not get it twisted. And they're working on the mushrooms too, so you get it. Yes. <laughs> it's all wellness. This is all, man. Let's do this. Um, the last, all right, so we did those debates. Now I want to jump into a little movie trivia with you. All right. Oh, and before that, what was one? Give me one of your favorite stoner movies to add to the favorite stoner movie. Yeah, to add to half the baked. half baked. Dave I'll Chappelle. Give I'll give you that, man. That's this guy. Uh, guy. Ohio. You heard? We can watch all the high gay high <laughs> movies together. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're gonna jump into the trivia. On the trivia, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions um, about the stoner movie in particular, and maybe an event that happened in the movie. All right, so you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. In the movie Half Baked, what was the name of the business they got started? Um, Happy, Mr. Happy, Happy, Mr. Smiley. No, damn, hold on, hold on. Smiley. Mr. Mr. Oh, You're close. Mr. You, Smiley. Mr. Something. Mr. 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 Oh, jeez. Mr. I talked to Samson. Um, uh huh. Mr. Smiley, no, Mr. Hat, Mr. Uh, wow. Mr. Nah, I gotta get it. <laughs> Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, Mr. You nice Guy. <laughs> All right, in the movie Howard and Kumar, right? What? animal did they encounter in the woods and wound up riding through the woods all the way to White Castle? I want to take a tiger. Was it a tiger? Like a cheetah? A fucking jaguar? Cheetah? You got to pick one of them. It was hot. You mentioned three of them, but you was hot. You got it. All there right. you go. My guy's one-on-one. Yeah, on one. <laughs> yeah, that actually fucked me up. Where the hell did you come out in the fucking woods? You know it's a stoner movie, man. Fucking cheat out of everything. I would have thought a bear or something, right? Something, but... Pretty dope ass movie anyway. Cheetah moves. That's <laughs> that cheetah piss. Got him to White Castle fast <laughs> enough. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's do this. Um, let's say the famous song called Purple Haze. Who was it sung by? Oh, uh, bu -bu 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 famous Prince. Okay. Am I wrong there? No. Prince, Purple Haze, Prince? That's the name of the album. Nah, there was an old school rock star. Oh, Purple Haze. Fucking Jimi Hendrix. Ah, yeah, good Jimmy shit. Hendrix. There you go. There you Purple go. Haze. My guy's on it. Purple Rain was Purple fucking Rain fucking was, fucking yes, yes. I hear yes. what I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got know. two, though. We got you two out of one. You got two. Two out of one. So you're ahead right now. Okay, cool. We got Purple Rain and... In the movie, Howard and Kumar. I'm going to give you another one from that. Who was Harold obsessed with? It's a girl that he always meet on the elevator. She always will go up the elevator, and he wound up going on a hunt for her. I'll give you the initial, the first initial, just to give you a hint. Is it a you're doing movie so name or real name? It's a Latin name. It starts with an M. An M? Yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to just go with Maria. <laughs> How we doing? Maria? You did really fucking good. That's a good one, man. <laughs> So you three and one. Hey, yeah, that was good, man. I gave you a pointer. And I was like, yo, my man's doing good. So let's do this one. This one's pretty tricky, and I know I was going to hit you with a curve right now. So who <laughs> did we look for in a book as a kid? Waldo. Oh, my man. Or Carmen. Ca well, Waldo. But Waldo, but that was good. My boy is killing it right now. Let's go. Those are some of my favorite books to read. That's fire. That's fire. <laughs> um, so let's go with... And there was a famous Olympic gold medalist that got caught holding a bong back in the days. Who got, was got what? Got caught holding a bong. Caught holding a bong. 
I'm gonna have to go with uh, Sean White. You said Olympic at Olympic gold medalist, yeah, gold medalist. But back in 2000, what was it? 2000. Let me give you the year. I think it was back in 2008. Olympic gold medalist. 28. Michael Phelps. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my guy, bomb that shit. Hey, you just gotta give him a few seconds. Once his brain get working, my Why man not? is in there. I like that, man. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Lucian, man. Killed the trivia and killed the debate questions, man. I liked every answer you had. There we yeah. go. My bad. I was cheaping with that. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was covering Gosh, one of his pet peeves already. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I was going to tell you. You really took over my name. <laughs> Super dope, man. Super dope. <clears throat> so that's that, man. Shout out to my guy, Lucian, man. Before we, before we wrap this up, um, any shout outs and any future um, things that you got going on with Weed and Wellness that you want to put the people on to? Weed and Wellness. Um, yeah, just about this. But we have the app coming out about four to five weeks from now. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to be doing on this app is connecting people to wellness. Okay. So we're going to be doing that both in the real world and also virtually. So virtually, nice. every day, we'll have live Zoom classes, right? And these classes will be from meditation and breath work to yoga and dumbbell hit classes. So you'll be able to catch oh. us live every day. Okay. And if you can't catch us live, you'll be able to catch one of those classes in our on-demand on bank of videos. Okay. So that's how we're going to be connecting to, uh, people with their wellness uh, virtually. But then also in the real world, we're going to be connecting you guys to um, wellness events that incorporate cannabis. You know, okay. like we're not the only one who are hosting these um, cannabis wellness events. Mm -hmm. They happen, they're going around all around the world. So we want to be able to, help you guys find this. So on our app, as a user, you'll be able to search what events are going on in New York City, what's going on in LA, what's going on in Barcelona. Nice. It's gonna be a collective of all the events from the whole community on Weed and Wellness. So we'll be connecting people both physically and virtually, virtually. to events. That's dope, man. Yeah. Thank you, man, for coming on the show, man. I appreciate you coming through and blessing the wake and bake, man. So before anything, we still got this weed here, so we got to finish this because we got to rate it together. But for right now, how do you feel about it so I far? Like it. So nice far? On, the, on the exhale. Very smooth and mm -hmm. uh, super terpy. If you had to rate it, what would you give it? I'm going to one more hit around there. Um, oh, you want to? Let's, let's, let's kill this a little more. Right? Let's finish it a little more before we really rate it. I, I can't complain about it. Honestly, mm -hmm. there's nothing to complain about. It's clean smoke. It tastes awesome. Um, look, it's it's punchy. A nice little kick. Not a crazy one, but a nice kick, right? Yeah, hit this again, what man. What would I? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can see I'm lost. My eyes. Those are the lost eyes. <laughs> Super white ash, clean. <laughs> see, I could be. <coughs> I could be good smoking. I could have a quarter pound of this and just burn it. <clears throat> Nice. And burn it. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's leaning, I wouldn't get bo bored of it. I feel like it's leaning towards a 10 or a 9. 9, 10. How do you feel about it's it? It's up. I don't, I can't really give it, I, I don't have a, a 10. Yeah. But I have it super fire. Like, it, it's, it's. So I say a 9 is reasonable? Like, I would nine. say, like, good weed, I would say is like, we'll say is like, it's above average. I don't know, 9? I'd say, let's say, let's say 9. It's so hard to put a number to it. I like it. that. I but like that. I gave fire. it. A, I gave it a nine myself. So shout out to Doja. We're giving this a nine. Definitely super fire. It's tasty. Feel like the kick is just right. <coughs> you know. I like it. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So on that note, it's your boy Fax, man. I'm here with my guy Lucian from Weed and Wellness, and that's that, man. On the Wake and Bake Show, man. Till next time. Make sure y'all tell a stoner to tell a stoner to tap in man and follow me on can bake underscore show and follow my guy weed and wellness weed and wellness um weed and wellness is down right now so follow weed and wellness 2.0 as well i'm saint lucian you can find me on instagram as saint lucian underscore and there you go and i'm the boy fax aka fax sbc on instagram host of the wake and bake show you already know what it is till next time we out of here thanks for having me Appreciate you coming on. Bless him. Wake up, get high.
all day through the night Prepare to take flight through the sky I Start your day right I wake up, get high All day through the night Prepare to take flight through the sky I